In this video, we're gonna make some big changes. But if you wanna make tiny, tiny adjustments to the facial expression, simply press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the background layer. Let's go to Filter and then Cam. Oh, don't forget, Convert for Smart Filters. Hit OK so that you can change the values of the filters later. Now let's go to Filter, Liquify. You guessed it right, for tiny adjustments, it is fine. Now inside of the Face Aware Liquify section, just open that up. You have all the eyes, the nose, mouth, everything. If you have multiple faces, you can choose the face you want to target. There is just one here. Let us choose mouth. Inside of the mouth, we can just do a little bit of the smile. As I said, for tiny, tiny changes, for changes from here to here, it's fine. In this video, we're going to do something bigger than that. But for dozens of muscles on the face, just two points won't cut it. So what do we need to do? Let us take the most serious and not so serious person in the industry and make a copy of the background layer. Press Ctrl or Command J. Now, before we do anything, again, let us not forget, let's go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. You want to always have the ability to go back and change stuff later. Let's go to Filter again. And this time, we're going to use something older, but also it was new when it was launched. Neural filters. Inside of that, turn on Smart Portrait. If it's not already downloaded, click on the download button, which might be showing for you instead of this right now. Let's turn it on. And you guessed it right. Make sure this is checked, by the way, and turn the happiness all the way to the right hand side. It's going to create something weird. I'm absolutely sure of that. But don't worry. Right now, it's processing in the cloud. It's going to be a little slow. That's fine. But after it has processed, every other processing will happen on device. At least that's what happens as of now. So right now, even if you make any adjustments, see it's processing on device now, once it has processed on the cloud. So let us increase the happiness all the way to the right again. I know it looks a bit funky. The teeth is weird. We're going to take care of that later, but it gives you a very nice base to work on. You have other fun stuff like facial age. If you want to make Kanye old, there you go. We don't want that. You have eye direction expressions here as well. You can decrease the anger a little bit. He definitely needs that or make him a bit surprised. That's up to you. But these are creating weird results. So we're going to keep it double click on it to keep it in the middle and hit OK. Once you're satisfied, this is fine for me. Make sure your output is set to smart filter. Hit OK. And at any point in time, if you want to get back, you already know what to do. You're smart. Double click on the neural filter right here. It will go back to all of these settings and you can adjust them. Let's hit cancel for now. So here's the before and here is the after. It is also changing other parts of the body which we don't want. So we can always take the help of, let's take a guess, masking. So click on the mask button right there. But before you do, hold the Alt key or the Option key and then click on the mask button. It creates a negative mask. Now we can take the brush with white as the foreground color with a soft round brush. Just reveal the mouth area. That's all. Flow is low. Let's increase it to 100. Opacity and flow both. Let's reveal this area. I know it looks like a happy Shrek. But anyway, it took away the nose a bit. So let's paint in black. You can always press X to toggle between the foreground and the background colors. And if the foreground and the background colors are something else, you can always press D to set them to defaults. Black and white. So painting this area back in black. There you go. Here's the before. Here's the after. Now, before we go and take care of the teeth, don't forget to take a break and get back and focus on the other areas. It's also changing the beard a little bit. Here's the before, here's the after. Recover as much as you can. Let's get back to the mask and paint this area as well in black. We did too much. Let's bring back the artificial sides as well. He is smiling for once. Now, sometimes it is not just the things you're changing, but other stuff too. Have a look, there's this weird thing going on on his nose. It was even there in the original photo. So uh, let's create a new layer at the top and we're going to choose the remove tool right here and just erase it. But before you do, you want to make sure sample all layers is checked. Otherwise, nothing will be sampled. Let's paint right here. There you go fixed. Now for the teeth, you might think that you would use generator fill, but trust me, I tried it for hours and hours and hours. And this is what it gives. This is one option, second option, third option. All of these are weird. Doesn't, I mean, we cannot even use this. It is just crazy. And even if something decent shows up, if you begin to zoom in, it just looks whacked. We definitely cannot use it. And have a look at this. It's like he just chewed on some tobacco or something. But anyway, Yes, again, I tried several different times and uh, we definitely cannot use this. We have to use the fundamental tools and techniques of Photoshop. It is always something that we can rely on and some things are best done by hand. So here we have a photo with similar lighting, similar skin tone and a wonderful smile. So 
Let's take help of the teeth right here. But before we do make a copy, since we are making a composite, you can straighten up the teeth a little bit as well. Let us take the remove tool from right here and you can just try making a few strokes right here. It does a perfect job. Another one right there, fixed. By the way, there's also bubbles forming. We don't want that. All right, that's gone. And now we can make a copy. Let us take the lasso tool right here and make a selection around the lips like this. Press Ctrl or Command C to make a copy. Let's go back to Kanye, Ctrl or Command V. You want to right click right here. Choose Convert to Smart Object so that we don't lose details by transforming it. Press Ctrl or Command T. And the first thing we notice here is that the light on this teeth is coming from the left hand side. While on Kanye, it's slightly on the right hand side. As you can see, there's more shadow on the left hand side. So right click on it and choose Flip Horizontal, just like this. And now you can decrease the opacity of the teeth and adjust it in that position. So I'm going to place it right there. Hold the Alt key or the Option key. Click right here to place the anchor point there. And then keep on holding the Alt key or the Option key and resize from that point. Rotate from that point. You see how convenient this is? You can decrease the opacity even further if you want. Just click and drag like this. I would keep it at about 50. And then right click on this and choose Warp. And now you have more controls to adjust it. To your liking. This looks fine for now. Hit enter or return once you're satisfied and increase the opacity back to 100. Now it is all the magic of masking, softening and matching. Simply with this layer selected, click on the mask button. You already guessed it. Take the brush, take a soft round brush with black as the foreground color. Slowly and gradually paint around the edges. That's all. Bring back the original Kanye lips. It looks marvelous. Now we have to match the teeth a little bit more. Also, there's a bit of shadow that we need to remove. First of all, I recommend zooming out and then looking at the overall image again. Look at the eye whites. They're brighter than the teeth. So let's create a curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Also, we want to limit the curves to the teeth. So click on this button right there and take the slider on the right to the left, just like this. Now it's kind of matching. You can also make it brighter from here. Create a point and make it slightly brighter. And now it is time for us to remove the shadow. For that, we can create a brand new layer at the top. Simple layer, that's fine. Change the blend mode from normal to soft light. You already know where we are going with this. Dodging and burning. Zoom in. Take the brush with the soft round brush and the flow to about 1 or 2%. I'm going to go 1. Just paint with white. That's all. To remove the shadow. I think this does it. Here's the before, here's the after. And I right now think that the teeth is too bright in the corner areas. So here's the before, here's the after of this curve that we added. So we need to take it away from the corners. So select the mask right here. Take the brush with black as the foreground color. Just take it away from the corners. Don't forget to increase the flow back to 100. Just like this. It's becoming more and more realistic. Just from the corners. That's all. And there you have Kanye smiling. And now on top of that, if you want, why not add some eyebrow expressions? So press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E. Command, Option, Shift and E. This creates a merged layer of everything you see in the canvas right now. Then let's go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. So let us not forget this step. Hit OK and go to Filter, Liquify. With the Forward Warp tool selected right here, you want to make sure pressure is less. And from here, slowly and gradually, you can push in the eyebrows. Now, if you don't want to disturb the eyes, you can always use the Freeze Mask tool right here and just paint in this area. That way, it will not move no matter what you do. And now you can use the Forward Warp tool and move the eyebrows as much as you want. Let's give him a funny expression. The idea is to always slowly and gradually nudge not do major movements. This looks funny but devilish. Let's erase the mask right here by using this tool and let's make it bigger and just erase all of it. Now there's another tool that you can use. Just scroll down and there's a reconstruct. Sometimes we do way too much. This is like undo on a slider. If you take it all the way to the left hand side, it's like you did nothing. And here's the overall after. Nice animation. So we kind of, we want to go something like this, about 68 is fine, hit OK, hit OK again. And there you have your Kanye full of expressions. Now I know this is not perfect. This is just to have some fun with Photoshop. And I really encourage you to sometimes take a break from your commercial or professional work and just have fun with Photoshop, play with Photoshop, have all the fun you want. Now I know there are some shortcomings. The resolution right here is not that great of the mustache, but that's no problem. There are a bunch of AI tools that you can use to enlarge it, to bring back the resolution, bring back the details. You can use plugins like Topaz, Luminar, and so many other websites and platforms and plugins and software. Just to show it to you, I'm going to create a merged layer at the top. Control, Alt, Shift, and E. Then let's go to Filter, 
Topaz, I'm gonna use Sharpen AI. And again, if you just wanna try it out, I have linked it up in the description. And just the standard one does a pretty good job of getting back some of the resolution right here. Have a look, there was no detail in the beard, but it has got back some of the details. Let us try motion blur, very blurry. See, it brings back more details. And you can scroll down, try increasing, remove blur. And now we have even more detail right here. That's amazing. Hit apply and you're good to go. And now you can bring back some of it right here. Here's the before, here's the after. See the details? Hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the mask button to create a negative mask and just bring it back where you need it. Take the brush, white as the foreground color and this is where we needed it. This is where we needed it. And for some areas, you can use the Remove tool to improve it later. This is where we needed it. There we go. Now, if you feel this is too much, you can decrease the opacity slightly. So I'm gonna go for 80%. And you can go on and on and on. I would create a new layer, fix this area with the remove tool, fix that area at the top right here, which looks weird. And this, there is just no end to it. So I hope this video helped you. The idea is to mix and match the traditional techniques, the fundamentals, the basics with the new technology. A true artist knows how to do things manually because he or she knows that his or her manual training will help fill the gap of technological flaws here and there. So just to recap it all together, if professionally you want to make very, very tiny change from here to here, use Liquify. Inside of Liquify, there is face aware that you can use. If you want to make big changes just for fun, use the neural filters. Now it won't be perfect, of course. It will create some weirdness. And then we have to use our traditional Photoshop techniques or any other techniques that we deem fit to fix all of that. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. We're up here on cloud nine. Crime and I love